Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install AdGuard Home on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS, which is a third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs, we're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So, a little bit about AdGuard Home is AdGuard Home is a network-wide software for blocking ads and tracking. Um, it blocks ads everywhere and cares about your privacy, family protection mode, and no apps needed. Uh, you'll just uh, get the list uh, off of GitHub or something like that, put it in there, and then you'll have a whole blocking list of what's blocked. You can block malware or uh, ads or anything you want. So that's a little bit about AdGuard Home. So Big Bear Cost OS is the third party app store that you install in, in your Cost OS to uh, get you access to a lot more apps. And also uh, it's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, you do need uh, to, uh, to, to have Cost OS 0.4.4 newer. I also uh, made a video on how to install it, but I'm gonna go over that in this video as well. So. That's a little bit about Big Bear Cost OS. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go into the apps right here. And then I'm going to go to AdGuard Home. And then I'm going to go to Docker and Pose. So the Cost OS uh, ID is Big Bear AdGuard Home. And then um, the uh, ser services. And then service underneath service is called App. And then container name is AdGuard Home. The image is coming off Docker Hub because you know that because there's nothing before this like a URL. And the version is 0 0.407.39. You could have a newer version, but this is the Docker uh, image tag. And uh, the resources for the service guesstimated. The vo volumes to map, so data, app data, App ID, which is dynamic variable that is populated by this up here, and da data. So this is on the host side, and this is on the ho ho host side. So now the, the the host side of these have work and then uh, conf, and then in the container is opt adguard home work. This is in the container side, and this is in the container side and opt adguard home and conf and then um restart unless stop so if you stop it for any reason it will not try to restart but if it fails or any other reason then it will try to restart the network mode is bridge the ports are 5353 and then 5353 for the udp and the tcp so uh this is on the container side. Uh, uh, this is on the host side, I mean, and then the container side is right here. So the left side is the host side, and the right side is the container side. And 8080 is on the host side, and then 80 is on the container side. If this does have a port conflict, you can um, change this port. Now, if this 53 has a port conflict, then you need to uh, see what's on that port and uh, di uh, disable it and stop it. So I'm going to set some X co cost OS con uh, specific configuration. So the volumes and then the ports. And then now I'm going to set some cost OS specific configuration down here. And the architectures that the image supports right here is ARM, uh, AMD64 and ARM. And now this main service is aligned with this right here, the name up here, because that's the service name. And then description, screenshot links, tagline, developer of this system, and the author of the Docker Compose, the icon, thumbnail, the title, and the category, so people can find all the apps really easy. And the port map is 8080, and that aligns with on the host side of 8080 right here. So, and now I'm going to set some tips. So, before we install this, it's going to show this tip for you because we need to uh, run this script before we can uh, install this. 
So that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So now I'm gonna start on Big Bear Scripts. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go to um, generate AdGuard home conf uh, config right here. And then this is the command that you would run. I'm gonna go into run.sh. So it's going to ask the user for the file path that they want, but if the user doesn't put in the file path, then it will go with the default. Um, it's gonna store the, the user selection file path in here or use the default. Uh, and, and the file path uh, dynamic variable. And then the make directory. So uh, if this doesn't exist, then it'll make it. And um, config data holds the default config that it will be generated. And then we're gonna echo this config data into the config, uh, the file path that the user selected. And then add guard home dot yaml. And then it'll cre cre create that file and then it'll echo out and say configuration file generated and saved to the file path and then add guard home.yaml. So that's a little bit about the uh, ge generate add guard home config script. So I'm gonna start on Big Bear Scripts. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to it. And I'm going to go to generate add guard home config and then I'm gonna copy this command right here. And then I'm gonna go over to my COS OS and run it. So I'm going to start on my cost OS. I'm going to go up to terminal logs right here. And um, a username and password for Xenoboard is cost OS and cost OS. Uh, the default one. I'm going to put in mine. So now I'm going to connect. And now uh, I'm going to clear it out. And now I'm going to run the command to generate the AdGuard home config. I'm going to return or enter. It's gonna say to enter the file path to save configuration. It's gonna give you a default file path. So I'm gonna go with it. Configuration file generated and saved to this path right here. So we got the AdGuard home config generated. So we now we can look at installing it. So now I'm gonna start on the Big Bear scripts. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go to disable DNS service. And then, um, I'm going to go to disable DNS service.sh right here. So it's going to check for root privileges. It's going to set the package manager, which is apt get, the package map, net stat, and net tools. And um, now update package manager. And then it's going to check for required uh, uti uh, utilities. And then um, it's going to set the path to the etc resolve.config. And then it's going to list the processes that are running on 53 port, if there's any. Then it will ask the user if they want to disable the system D resolved. And you just do a Y for yes and N for no. If the user does not do a Y, then it aborts. And then it's going to disable the service for system D resolved dot service. And then it's going to stop it. It's going to check if the port 53 is clear. If it, if it is, then um, it, it's going to say port 53 is clear right here in the else statement. If it does still have something on port 53, it's going to say port 53 is still in use. So it's going to set the current DNS and it's going to be, get it from the name server on the system D, uh, on the ETC resolved uh, config file right here, the diamond variable that's up here. And then um, it's going to show the current DNS that's in that config file. It's going to say enter new DNS or go with the default one, which is Cloudflare 1.1.1.1. 1 .1 1 .1. So um, then it's going to set it inside a diamond variable DNS server. Then it's going to check for an NS lookup on BigBearTechWorld.com. And then if it does resolve, it's going to say that DNS server can resolve correctly. Else, it's going to say cannot resolve exiting. It's going to back up the, the ETC uh, a resolved file right here. So you have a backup. And then um, it's going to change the name server line in there in the ETC resolved file. And then it's going to say that the ETC resolved file is updated. It's going to cat it out and show it in the terminal. So, 
that's a little bit about how the uh, the disabled DNS service script works. So now we're going to start on Big Bear Scripts. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go into di a disabled DNS service right here. And then I'm going to go into this URL here. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go over to my COS OS and run it. So I'm going to start on COS OS. I'm going to go up to Terminal and Logs right here. And uh, username and password default is COS OS on a Xen board. I'm going to put in mine. And then now I'm going to connect. Now we're in the terminal, so we can paste in the script for disable a DNS uh, service. Then I'm going to run it. And then it's going to show the uh, process that's running on 53, port 53. It's system D resolved. So this will display processes using port 53 and then disable system D resolved. Yet a uh, Y for yes and N for no. I'm going to say Y. Okay, disabling stopping system D resolved. Checking if port 53 is clear. Port 53 is clear. Current DNS is 1.1.1.1. And that's Cloudflare. So you can either type in another DNS resolver like 8.8.8.8. I'm going to just Google's, or you can use Cloudflare's. I'm going to just press enter. And then now you can see it did update it and it's uh, ready to go. So now we're going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go to a down to App Store URL right here. And I'm going to copy this URL. And then I'm going to go over to my COS OS and get the App Store uh, installed. So now I'm going to start on my COS OS. I'm going to go to the App Store. And then I'm going to go Add Source right here. A text input will pop out. And I'm going to paste in the App Store URL. The .zip. And then I'm going to add. Now we have 108 apps. And we can go over here and see the category, but we can't see it yet because we have to refresh. And then now I'm going to go back in the App Store, go to the categories, Big Bear Class OS, and now you can see all the apps that are available in the third-party App Store. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to go to the App Store in COS OS. And then I'm going to go to Search Box and type in AdGuard. Um, okay, there's two AdGuards, and this is the default one. And then this is the Big Bear COS OS one right here. I'm going to go into it. I'm going to press Install. And it's going to, to let you know to run this script right here. We've already ran it. So I'm going to say next steps. And then now this is downloading the Docker Compose container, extracting it, and getting it set up with Docker uh, comp uh, Compose up. So now we have it up. So now I'm going to be going over the container options. So I'm going to go up these vertical dots right here. And you can open in the web UI. You can set some tips. And there's a tip already set for before the install. You can edit it down here and you can say testing and then you can save it. And then now to reload the container, you can go back into the tips and you can see it did save. You can uh, go into settings and you can change some things down here and then you can press the save button. You can also go over here to terminal and logs and you can have a a terminal inside the container right here. Then you can see the logs of the, of the container. Gr great for debugging. I'm going to exit that. And now you can go ahead and check for updates for the current tag it's on. It won't change the tag. You can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So I'm going to start on uh, the cost OS dashboard. I'm going to go into files and then app data right here and uh, the Big Bear AdGuard Home right here and then data and then you can see config and work you can also go into each one download copy path rename cut copy share delete you can also check mark all of them and download cut copy cut delete cancel you can go in deeper and you can see the config file that we generated you can go back to data then you can go to work and then data and then you can see uh, da databases 
and then filters. So this holds all the data of the AdGuard home. So now we're gonna go in the UI now. So you can open it from here or you can go in these vertical dots right here and say open. So um, uh, if you notice, we didn't have to set it up because we set it up with generating the config file already. So you can see that it provides a lot of stats. You can disable the protection and then a refresh statistics. You can go into settings and go to general and you can have more settings of statistic settings, logs, and general settings. Um, you can go into DNS settings and set your upstream DNS servers. You can set it to load balancing, parallel request, and fast, fa uh, fastest IP address. Here's some examples of what you can add. You can have fallback DNS servers and bootstrap DNS servers. A uh, bootstraps are used for DN, uh, a DNS over HTTPS and DNS over T a TLS. And then you can test the upstream servers and specify DNS servers are working correctly. And then you can go, go down to DNS server configuration and then DNS uh, cache configuration and then access settings. Then you can go over here to settings again, go to encryption settings. And then you can go into client settings and then you can go into DHP settings to where you can set up a DHP server. Um, now you can go into filters and DNS block list and you can add a DNS block list from this examples or you can go in here and add a custom list and it needs to be in the format of AdGuard Home. You can check for updates for the current uh, list. You can go in and edit the list right here or delete the list. You can go uh, into DNS block li uh, allow list, I mean, and then you can allow list and um, a DNS rewrites block services. So you can block each individual service and then you can do custom filtering. And here's some examples of how to do it. And then you can come down here and you can test the filtering up here and see if it's right. You can go into query logs and you can see logs right here once you use the AdGuard home. And then a setup guide. So that's a little bit about AdGuard Home's UI. So I just went over step by step on getting AdGuard Home running on Cos OS using Big Bear Cos OS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description, so stay tuned for more.